Hello, hello. Now this video is going to take you through the question called read the lecture of your speaking. Are you struggling in this question? Are you doing this lesson for the first time? Or this is the very first lesson of your, uh, of your preparation. Whatever. I am hopeful that I will make this question easy and simple for you to understand and to get the scores in your final exam. First, as we always try to understand the structure of your exam, so your exam is going to be of two hours with four different sections in the test, speaking, writing, reading, and listening. So there are 20 items plus two trial questions which are added to your speaking section that you need to answer in these two hours. So first, you will be doing five questions of your speaking plus, plus the two trial questions. Then there will be two questions in your writing section, five in your speaking and eight in your listening. The most important module of all is your speak, speaking. So you need to master your speaking module to crack your PTE exam at any cost. Along with that, you need to work on your reading and listening right from dictation and fill in the blanks of reading and writing to pass your exam for, with wonderful colors. So make sure the red questions are marked very, very well by you so that you can pass your exam wonderfully. Talking about your read lecture question, it is the red question. No, it's your orange question of the test. And this question is the fourth question of your speaking exam. That is towards the um, second half of your speaking. In this question, you will have to answer one or two items of this type. So that means this is the least number of questions that you're answering so far. So if you have only one question of your retail lecture coming up in your exam, that means you have only one opportunity to prove yourself, to show your talent on this question. So you have no chance of doing any errors. So it's kind of a do and die for you. So make sure you do the best on this attempt. Now, how many points are you going to score out of retail lecture? So you are getting 21 points out of retail lecture and these 21 points are not all in your speaking. So you are going to get 50% of your scores in speaking and 50% of the scores in your listening section. So this section marks a great relevance not only in speaking, but also in your listening. So what is the factor that is going to give you scores in your speaking? Fluency. And what is the factor that is going to give you scores in your listening? Pronunciation and confidence. What about content? Um, even if you say 20% of the content from your answer, it should give you great scores in your listening. But we will try our best to score as much as possible by saying as much as from the question. Now, let us have a look at the question screen. So on the left side of the screen, you can see a video. You may see a photo or you may see nothing. So whatever is on the left side of the screen is none of our concern. We are only interested in the, in the things that you hear in your headphones. And afterwards, you have to speak about them. So you should definitely be ready with a pen and a paper when you see this question. So you must get yourself ready with a plain blank sheet. And that's how you are. Okay, now let us understand the steps of doing this question. So the first step of doing this question is to get your pen and book ready. So you have three seconds, so you must get them ready. Second step of doing this is that the speaker will start speaking in the microphone. Uh, the speaker will start speaking in your headphones and you must take as many words as you can. And your minimum target is to write 30 words out of the lecture. Once you have finished listening to the lecture, um, the speaker will stop speaking and then speaker will uh, the computer will turn on a 10 seconds timer. Now, these 10 seconds are like a gap where you're not recording anything, computer's not speaking anything. So that means in these 10 seconds, uh, you can decide on the title or the topic of your lecture. And if it is too hard for you to make a decision on what is a title, or what is the topic of the lecture? In that case, maybe pick up any repeated word or maybe pick up the first word of your lecture or of your notes as your title because it is important to start off with the title and you should be able to choose only that word which is easy to pronounce so that you don't get stuck on that word then. Now start your, um, after those uh, 10 seconds are over, the computer will turn on a microphone for 40 seconds. That means that that is your maximum time to say your answer. 
And then uh, you will try to speak the template. Of course, it's a template-based question by putting up all the keywords from the lecture into your template. And you will try to speak for as much as uh, possible time. Uh, the best will be to speak for 40 seconds by repeating your answer if you have less answer. If not, then just keep saying for 40 seconds. Now, even if you speak for 30 seconds or 20 seconds, it should be fine. The only concern is that if you are saying lesser keywords, you probably will score less in your listening because of the content. Okay, so we will try to speak more content, more keywords. If you have less keywords, even if you speak for less time, it's fine because you can't fix your number of keywords anyway, okay? So that's how you take your keywords. So you divide your sheet into three parts by marking a line, like one line, two lines. So you have three parts and then you listen and you take notes. So now what we are going to do is I will actually play a lecture, okay? And I will try to take notes on the screen for you. My marking line. Just any. In this lecture, I am thrilled to discuss the evolution of renewable energy and its critical role in shaping a sustainable future. Our journey towards renewable energy sources marks a significant shift in how we approach environmental sustainability and energy consumption. Renewable energy, derived from natural processes that are constantly replenished, includes solar, wind, hydroelectric, and geothermal power. Unlike fossil fuels, these energy sources emit little to no greenhouse gases, making them crucial in combating climate change. For example, solar panels convert sunlight into electricity without pollution, offering a clean alternative to traditional energy sources. The shift to renewable energy is not just an environmental imperative but also an economic opportunity. The renewable energy sector is rapidly growing creating jobs, and driving technological innovation. It's a pathway to a more sustainable economy and energy independence. The evolution of renewable energy represents a pivotal moment in our history. It's about transitioning to cleaner, more sustainable ways of living and securing a healthier planet for future generations. That much is what I can do. So sustainable energy will be my, my topic or renewable energy. But uh, we are not going to do the speaking part now because uh, you know that I have to tell you what to do in speaking. But now your only concern is to see how to take notes. So you're not writing the whole sentence. You're actually focusing on writing only one word, two word or a phrase. And you don't have to worry about putting the correct spellings as well. So you should try to write as many shortcuts. You see combustion, combat, little, hydro, uh, thermal, yeah, wind, solar. You see the spellings drive, so in a environmental. So I've taken a lot of renewable. So I've taken a lot of uh, shortcuts because the computer doesn't uh, really check what you've written. So computer is only going to mark you for what you speak. So take as many keywords as you can on your book because you can't write on the screen like that okay you have to write them on the book and then you will start speaking okay once you see this this thing recording and you start saying your answer we will try to speak for 40 seconds now actually let's have a look at our template so that's your template where you say the topic of the given lecture is sustainable energy the speaker talked about many things in the lecture. I can say keywords, I can say keywords. Also, I can say keywords. Finally, I can say keywords to conclude the lecture was interesting. So we are going to use this template. And let us try to record our answer for this one now. 10 seconds gap up, then you say. 
the topic of the given lecture is sustainable energy. There are many different things in the lecture. I can say evolution, renewable energy, role, sustainable nature. I can say environmental energy consumption. I can also say driving natural process. I can say solar, wind, hydropower. I can say geothermal power, little to no greenhouse gases, combat color panels, electricity pollution, traditional shift, imperative economic opportunity. I can also say creating jobs, finally, technical innovations, economic independence, in the end, pivotal movement, securing healthier planet, future generation. Overall, the lecture was interesting about, yeah, about, that's where I stopped. But then I kept saying my keywords. I was not making any sentence out of it. I was just saying, I can say, I can say, I can say, continuously you are trying to say your best answer. And that's great. Uh, oh, strange. My fluency is too low. Um, we can try again and see why the fluency was low. But that's how you give your answer. You see the content is fine. So maybe let's listen and see what happened. Is there a gap? The topic of the given lecture is sustainable energy. There are many different things in the lecture. I can say evolution, renewable energy, role, sustainable nature. I can say environmental energy consumption. I can also say driving natural process. I can say solar, wind, hydropower. I can say geothermal power, little to no greenhouse gases, combat color panels, electricity pollution, traditional shift, imperative economic opportunity. I can also say creating jobs, finally, technical innovations, economic independence, in the end, pivotal movement, securing healthier planet, future generation. Overall, the lecture was maybe the overall thing. We can try again saying the answer and see. Let's check. Title of the given lecture is evolution. There are many different things in the lecture. I can say evolution, renewable energy, role, sustainable nature. I can also say environmental energy consumption, driving natural forces, process, solar, wind, hydro, geothermal power, little to no greenhouse gases, combustion, combat, color panels, electricity, pollution, traditional shift. I can also say finally imperative economic opportunity, creating jobs, technical innovation, economic independence, pivotal movement. In the end, I can say securing healthier planet for future generation. Overall, I can say this lecture was interesting about renewable energy and sustainable earth. That's what I can do the best. So that's how you give your answer actually. So um, that should be it. So my fluence is still the same, I don't know. It could be a technical issue, but that's how you give your answer. So why don't we try another question? And let's see if uh, we can do better on that one for now. One more question to practice so that you can see another sample answer just for you. Back in the 1970s, a false king famously pronounced that for Bhutan, Gross national happiness is more important than gross national product. <laughs> Ever since, all development in Bhutan is driven by GNH, a pioneering vision that aims to improve the happiness and well being of our people. But that's easier said than done, especially when you're one of the smallest economies in the world. Our entire GDP is less than $2 billion. I know that some of you here are worth more <laughs> individually than the entire economy of my country. So our economy is small. But here's where it gets interesting. Education is completely free. All citizens are guaranteed free school education, and those that work hard are given free college education. Healthcare is also completely free. Medical consultation, medical treatment, medicines, they're all provided by the state. We manage this because we use our limited resources very carefully, and because we stay faithful to the core mission of GNH, which is development with values. Our economy is small, and we must strengthen it. Economic growth is important. 
But that economic growth must not come from undermining our unique culture or our pristine environment. Be gross happiness index. The title of the lecture is about Bhutan. There are many different things in the lecture. I can say 1970s King Bhutan, cross national happiness, cross national product. I can say ever since all developed Bhutan driven pioneering vision, well being people, easier said than done, small economy, $2 billion individually. I can say entire economy, country, interesting education, free school, work hard. I can say free college, healthcare, medicine, treatment, state, manage this. I can say limited resources, carefully, faithful development, values, economic strength. And I can say economic growth is important, undermining unique culture of an environment. Overall, I can say this lecture was interesting about Bhutan. I did it. Let's see. What did we do? Check. Yay, good. That was a better answer, 83 scores. So you can see that by following these simple strategies and by keeping saying, uh, by keep saying, I can say, I can say, I can say, keyword, 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 clarity, confidence, and your trust in my training and my strategies will definitely let you to pass your test. So trust me, please, guys, work harder, practice more. Remember, you should have more keywords. So if you are still scoring um, only 15 keywords or only uh, 20 keywords, work harder on note-taking than on your speaking practice. So you should try to target minimum 30 words and have more. That will give you better point in the content and speaking. Try not to rush on your keywords. Try to say them clear and as best as possible. This is the secret and the strategy of getting your scores and your speaking and listening. We tell lecture question. There's nothing much in it. One or two questions will be coming in your exam. 20 points in your pocket by working hard on this question. I'll see you in the next video. If you still have doubts on what I have trained in this video, which shouldn't be there actually, but yeah, you can contact your trainer. See you from Guna for now.